All right, it's about two o'clock in the afternoon. I started the install of this Victron at 5 a.m. this morning. And it is up and running now. I have just, look at, look at this mess. There's the old three midnights right there. I got a pile full of freaking wires. I mean, I pulled out every stop, every cable. I had my cable bin there to make this thing freaking go. And it's kind of semi done, but I wanted to do a good ops check and see how my power levels are increasing. But this is the, the big dog. And I moved it way up high because I want to clear the exhaust vent up here. And they say to use 30 centimeters of space, and I've got more than that, but there's a lot of heat that comes out the top right up here. So I moved it up, and it's actually a good thing with the wire connections down here. Let me show you a couple things here. I'll take the cover off because I don't have it screwed in. Let me show you my work here. All right, let's go from left to right. First things first, always do your grounds. So that's a ground there that goes to the grounding rod here, system ground. I managed to find two sets of 2 watt and I made all new connections and had plenty of black, but I did kind of ran short, short on red. So what I had to do is come over here. This is for the, the solar charger. So I had a spare 250 amp Blue Sea Systems bus bar and I rigged up a, get that, look at that, copper, freaking, that solid copper right there that goes down to the main fuse right here. This goes up to the inverter, this 4 out goes up into the inverter system. And then for the solar, I had to rip out everything and I had plenty of 10 AWG red and black so there's the reds for the three arrays right there which are circuit breaker right there see that and then the blacks of course are all tied in together there and made all new MC4 connections into the unit right there and then I had to do some weird stuff to get this Victron Connect to work, but I got it to work. <clears throat> um, you have to use, you have to reset the password and you got to use this PUK to reset the password. And I just got it set to 00060s. And I got it to, to freaking come right up. And which is really cool, check this out. I don't know if you can see this with the glare, but you can go get out of this, I'm sorry, go back. See, it's connecting. See how it blinks up there? That's cool. So it goes to, it goes to this one, but you go back and I can go to my smart shunt right here with this tablet and it'll just show the shunt fetching data. You know, it's still showing the output and stuff. the battery voltage and I had to change the um, to get this thing correct I had to go into the menu here and get the battery float and absorb and all that stuff and the in the settings here you just go up here to this guy up here and you go to battery and I got it set for uh, what the EG force say to set it at so that's what I did equalization is off of course Right there so get rid of that there all right and I just don't have a lot of really good Sun to work with it's kind of broken clouds slash chemtrails contrails kind of going on but uh, so I can't you know see what the maximum boogie is on this thing but it's kind of semi done um, I tend to take the raceway out right here um, and I may put one back in there 
But you know the number one thing that's really kind of pissing me off right now is my Optics RE is not working. And I took the hub or the uh, the switch, a network switch out, and I went cable direct all the way to the Wi-Fi router and I reset, reset, you know, factory reset, update, firmware, all that stuff. Still not connect to Optics RE. And it looks like it went down on May 10th. So it wasn't anything I did today because it pulled an IP address from, from the router when I updated everything. It pulled a new IP address. So it's it says connecting, 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 but it won't connect. So it's probably on Optics RE end that is, is jacked up, but I don't know. So there's the install. Um, I would like to see it make full freaking boogie power, but it, it seems to be all over the place with the, uh, let's go to trends here. Um, anyway, it's, it's just it's all over the place hunting for, for power, but it recognized all three inputs, which is good. So I'm gonna play with it a few more days. I'd like to get a blue cord versus a white cord that sticks out. <coughs> you know, just to be, I like things pretty, but overall pretty much a clean install and safe it's got a fuse it's, you know kilovolts have a switch right there these all have breakers on them i mean it's lithium so they're smart batteries anyway if they you know they won't overcharge they won't over discharge you know i mean they're, they're safe anyway so all right there you have it thanks for watching and uh let me know what you think later